Today we are in Hamburg, Germany and we are here to experience a special world, a rather miniature one. Okay, put our luggage away, let's go. We walked along the historic Speicherstadt area of Hamburg to reach our destination for today. Future Wonderland, today is one only stop in Hamburg. This is Miniature Wonderland, the world's largest model railway and airport attraction. Upon arriving, we were given a map of the various areas here. We are going here first. And being Av geeks ourselves, we wasted no time in going straight to the airport. The airport is modeled of Hamburg's own international airport and spans an area of 150 square meters. The airport is in 1 is 200 scale and took almost 6 years to build. What is really impressive about this airport is that it's fully functional and very realistic. So this is a quick look at the airport. Here we have a Lufthansa 747 just landing and coming in to park at the gate. You can see the other aircraft parked next to it on the other gates. And here is an A350 in special Hamburg airport livery. You can see as the airport approaches the gates, a series of lights guides it towards the correct gate. You can also see the detail in the gates as well as the terminal buildings. Of course, like any airport, not every aeroplane gets its own aerobridge. So here we have a Turkish 737 parking at a bus gate. Straight after that, an airport bus comes to pick up passengers from the aircraft. Notice how the airport bus is able to expertly handle all the obstacles at the apron and park right next to the aircraft door. And when it's time for takeoff, the aircraft gets pushed back by a tow tug. It then taxis towards its holding position next to the runway. Here again you can see the level of detail on the landscaping as well as the runway lights and taxi lights. And just like that we are ready for takeoff. Also notice the queue of aircraft waiting for their turn while another one is landing. The airport also goes through cycles of day and night. You can also notice here how even the individual windows on each aircraft are lit up. There are also some special aircraft like this Star Wars Millennium Falcon and the NASA Space Shuttle. The direction of the runway also changes as you would expect in a real airport. Apart from the aircraft, what makes this airport very special is also these ground service vehicles that move around doing a variety of functions. Apart from the moving elements on the air side of the terminal, there are also some static elements on the land side that give it a realistic touch. Like for example this airport ramp, the car parking, a variety of parking that is, as you would see in an airport, you can also see some advertising on some of the parking buildings. There is also an underground train to the airport where you can see passengers waiting with their suitcases. And lastly, an airport hotel. 
The airport also has a functioning departure and arrival board which it follows. Overall, the airport operates 250 flights per day, has 2500 LEDs in its airfield and about 52 planes in its collections. While I could easily spend the whole day here, it's time to check out some of the other amazing models in this exhibition. Here we have a model of Central Germany. This is marked by green hills and high speed rail routes. And here we can see a road section of the model where cars and vehicles navigate to traffic lights effortlessly. We can also notice the unique German architecture in the buildings of the city. And this is the Hamburg section of the model. Here you can see the Hamburg railway station that we saw at the start of the video. Since we are in German section of the model, the trains used here are also the German ones like these ice trains. And here we have a model of a German carnival, which consists of attractions, rides and food stalls. You can really notice the details in each of the rides and attractions in this carnival. Perhaps the most impressive section of the railways is the Switzerland section. Stretching across two stories, the model provides a preview of Switzerland's amazing landscapes and its various train landmarks. As we were heading to Switzerland later on this trip, this provided us with a sneak preview of what to expect. The various viaducts and the spherical loops are a common sight in the Swiss Alps and are well represented here in the models. Some of the key highlights included the Glacier Express, the Landwasser Viaduct and Gornagrad Railway. While there was so much to cover, here's a quick look at some of the other sections. This is the Austrian section of the exhibition. With its various casinos and LED lighting, this is the American section of the exhibition. And here we have a section of the Grand Canyon. This is the Swedish section of the model and shows how the trains have to face harsh weather conditions during some times of the year. Some other highlights include real-world models of Italian cities including Venice and a Brazilian carnival in Rio. What is truly amazing is the sheer scale and the detail in each of these models. Like for example, here we have a carnival 
with 20,000 fans in attendance. Notice the flashlights going off as they try to take pictures of their favorite artists. And the lineup of portable toilets. Here we have a man frustrated while waiting for his turn. This model shows an accident on the road and how that's managed. With this much scale and detail, it's no surprise they have got several Guinness World Records. There is also detail in the restaurant, which is configured like aircraft seating. Hamburg was a bit of a detour for us on this trip, but a stop at Miniature Wonderland could not be missed. Make sure to book your tickets in advance if you plan to visit. Join us next time as we continue on our European adventures. But first, this hamburger. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel.